Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with the first in a pretty cool suite of videos. Last year, I was invited to do something really unique in my experience. Uh, Princess Cruises asked me to be the godfather of the then newest addition to their fleet, the Discovery Princess. I went down, participated in the champagne ceremony. It was really, really cool. And then they asked me while I was there, is there any part of the ship that you wanna see? And I was like, yeah, I wanna see all the systems that make this thing run, take me to the engine room. And what followed was three hours of heaven for me in the company of their lead engineer, seeing how all of these incredible systems work in concert. And that began a relationship with Princess that this video is part of because I recently spent two weeks in Italy at the Fincantieri shipyard watching Princess float out the next addition to their fleet, the Sun Princess. And subsequent videos to this, we're going to cover all sorts of the amazing features of the Sun Princess, its energy efficiency, and all the systems on it that have never been tried on a cruise ship before. But we're going to start where this ship started, which is on a cocktail napkin. This is a sketch from several years ago, as the designers of this ship were trying to figure out exactly how to make it visually distinctive. And this drawing is now an engineering reality. The Sun Princess features two eight deck tall domes on either side and one on its cap. And we got to walk through these domes with one of the engineers responsible for executing it and learned just how difficult it is to make a sealed watertight glass dome, actually three of them, on a giant cruise ship that flexes on the open sea. Well, this is really exciting. I'm standing on the top deck of the Sun Princess, and behind me is what will be one of the defining features of this ship, which is the dome on top of it. It will cut a really unique silhouette, and it is an incredible piece of engineering. It is a set of rigid spines that had to be brought up here separately, instead of just bringing up the dome all at once, because doing that could actually warp it and distort it. Now that it's in place, they are linking all of these rigid members together, and then once it's all together, then they will scan it, and when they scan it, that's how they will figure out the size of each individual pane of glass. There's hundreds of panes of glass. They have to be thick, they have to be able to handle all the weather, they have to be able to move with the dome because the dome and the ship will flex. This is all about order of operations and it is so thrilling for my engineer's brain to hear about this stuff. Uh, and then beneath the dome is a swimming pool that you will be able to swim from inside to outside. Another first. Lionel, we're standing in front of the Sun Princess's most distinctive feature. Tell me what this is. This, my friend, is the dome. And what we've done here is we've created a venue that has a daytime application and a nighttime application. Okay. Right? So the whole idea is that what if we could create this kind of like unique experience, a sun deck, but not quite, yeah. right? An area where you can go and read, an area where you can hang out, but you don't necessarily be out on a sun deck trying to get like you know, as much rays as you can. So you can enjoy all the benefits of being on the top deck without yeah. the detriment of the exactly. wind and the sun and the... Exactly. These will all be covered in glass when they're done, yes? Yeah, this is a fully glass dome. Tell me about the first time this arrives on your desk as a problem to solve. What was your, what was your thought? Were you like, oh, I can't wait to sink my teeth in? Yeah, or? totally, totally, okay. totally. We knew, <laughs> we tend to get called in for the weird spaces. Oh, good, good. So that's your specialty. <laughs> so that's our specialty. The comp, the comp, the, the, we're, like, we're like, we get no easy projects. But right. that's part of our DNA. Yeah. We want to try something different. We like to think out of the box. And so we were really trying to figure out, how, how is this going to be a good theater at night? Yeah. Right? That brought You're up. thinking about the, the, per, the, the passenger experience. And, and, and what's it going to be like? What, what kind of experience can we give on such an enormous ship? There's yeah. so many ships coming out. Everyone's trying to have new features that can be something unique. And so it's really designed like a, almost like you're in Mykonos or something, right? It's got this kind of like really laid back, kind of cool feel. Yeah. This giant water feature at the back, these big tulips, which I'll explain to you when we go take a look at it. Okay. Um, and then nighttime, it's, it's a full theater, right? So the pool gets a roller cover that comes out, transforms into a stage, there's a big LED screen behind it, and they're gonna produce um, they're going to produce nighttime immersive experiences. These ships, while seeming giant and solid, actually flex quite yeah. a bit. How did that affect the design process a lot. of the dome? I mean, I think like these ribs, the time that went into understanding, I mean, there's a million different ways you can do a dome. Right, right. Right, so just understanding what's going to be the best way to, to have the view corridors you're looking for. Yeah. Right, and also just let the thing 
be able to have the flex that you want because you know there's like huge joints between the glass because they're going to be moving and, and rocking back and forth. And you still need it to be weatherproof. And you still need it to be weatherproof. So we have a giant we have a giant waterfall like a, <laughs> an eight meter waterfall, which sounds good, but when the boat goes like this, the water goes you know it does yeah. its own thing. So there's a ton of engineering to get that together. Um, but I think it was really important. Those kinds of things we fought for. We're like, look, well, this needs to be a natural environment. You need to come in here and have been transported to a different place, right? Yeah. So it was important that we sort of, we knew what things we were like, they were sacrosanct and we're like, these aren't going away. I spent the last week moving around the ship in the shipyard and it wasn't until I watched the ship back out of the dry dock during the float out that I really caught how visually distinctive yeah. this will be. It yeah. is a remarkable feature up on yeah, top. Yeah, no, I'm really- It's I'm like a hat. Super excited to be part of it. It really is. It's like, and it's not been done before, so that's always exciting. So tell me about this this pool here. This is the front of the ship. So this this deck, we're basically above the bridge. That's right, so right at the front of the deck. So you're right. always gonna have these massive expansive views. Commanding view of the whole city. Um, so that pool actually comes through this threshold, which is the edge of the interior of the dome. This will all get connected come through here as a sliding door. You'll be able to swim yeah, from the outdoor to indoor. Yeah, you'll be able to swim outdoor to indoor. And we'll also have a retractable stage. Ah! Oh. So the stage will open up so that during the day it's a pool. Oh, and this becomes stadium seating. That's right, so here you are, you're at the pool. Uh, pool has this cover, becomes a stage. And here you are, stadium seating. People on all of the raised levels. It's a big deck up there. Well, I love it because you've been talking about the dome as a space where you're putting a theater, but really what we're talking about is architecture as theater. That's right. You are, you're controlling an emotional experience right. and you're guiding them uh, yeah, and you're giving them that experience. That's what we're looking for. That's so the first time you thought of this, you must have been like, oh, this yeah. is going to be awesome. Yeah, totally. I want to give this to everyone. Yeah, we, and we, we had all different, we had a whole series of different like multi-level proposals of how yeah. this room would work. But this one really works nice, so I'm really happy with it. Lionel, it's really, really thrilling. Thank yeah. you so much for walking me through that. Yeah, of course. I really appreciate it. Richard, what am I, what are we looking at here? So, we are now in the center of the ship. So this is the piazza. So this is our main area, our town center of yeah. the ship. Yeah. And the main thoroughfare. Uh, so what you see here is we're now on deck seven. Uh, this is also a major entertainment venue. So what you see in the center here, this cutout, will actually be our stage. Oh, so that's mechanics for the stage Correct. to do cool stuff. Correct. So it's actually a challenge for us on the shipyard in order, because obviously this whole level needs to, uh, this whole uh, floor needs to be level. Yeah. So the mechanics of the stage will sit in that well so that we'll bring the stage up for shows ah. and take it down for public uh, dancing or uh, other events in here. It I can't wrap my head around how different this space will be in only a few months. Absolutely, yes. All the scaffolding will be gone, dressing, I mean, Absolutely. there's so much work to do. So, I mean, this particular venue is the width of the vessel. Yeah. And it's also three decks high, which you can't quite see because of all the scaffold right now. But, uh, so I'd say this is the main area. So we're on deck seven right now. Yeah. So what you will see here is, as we're looking uh, in this area, on one side we'll have coffee currants, which is a coffee bar. Mm -hmm. And on the other side we'll have bellinis, which is a, uh, a sort of a champagne bar. Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. But one of the, obviously the signature feature of the ship, so the iconic feature is the spheres. Yes. Which are these sort of three deck high in this area, at least glass walls. So let's take a look outside and we'll yeah, show you Yeah, by all means. Yeah, they're hard to see in here. I don't even know how high it is. This is one of the key visual distinctive features of the Sun Princess, and it's an engineering marvel. In addition to being just beautiful and providing tremendous opportunities for being able to look out at the sea and the weather and see the world from the protection of the ship, it is also an engineering marvel. Every pane of glass here is a piece of glass, and glass is not known for its ability to flex, and yet this boat does. So this has been built to be a semi-rigid structure that can also accommodate the, the flexing and stretching that happens through the normal course of a ship at sea. I can't wait until this is done and I can stand in the middle of this because it is gonna be pretty special. You'll literally be out almost over the edge of the ship looking out at the weather from that vantage point. It's gonna be stunning. 
So that is eight decks high. And am I correct that that glass is planar? It's not curved. Correct. So yeah. each piece, that's beautiful because it really gives the illusion of a fully curved surface. Absolutely, yeah. That yeah. was that must have been a specific set of questions during the design process. Yeah, so I mean, again, we brought in specialists who looked at this because it was a sort of a one of a first of a kind. Yeah. I'm looking at the best way to integrate this into the build of the ship. So, uh, and, and also the properties of the glass as well, because not only does it need to be reflective, but we need to think of the cooling systems in the ship. Right. The HVAC and everything else. So. I, I notice also that it has what looks like a, a heavier hold down system than is on your normal office building. Yes. Because the conditions this undergoes are way worse than a normal office Absolutely. building. Absolutely. Just whether it be the wind or just, just the lashing of the, uh, you know, the water out here, the, the rain. Uh, absolutely. Do you get, I, I would imagine you must get quite excited thinking about standing in the middle of the sphere when it's... <laughs> oh, it's, I mean, it's going to be stunning. <laughs> and again, to take it from paper to reality, right? It's, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's almost emotional at times when I, you see this reality in front of us here. Well, I was saying to someone a few minutes ago, it's like we're building the pyramid, you're building the pyramids only more complicated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, so this is sort of very uh, sort of iconic feature of the ship, uh, which hopefully our, not only our guests will enjoy, but will also be recognizable. The ship will be so recognizable from this particular feature. Like in any city that it docks, you're going to know. Oh, that's yeah. the that's the Sun Princess. The Sun Princess. And they're hollow, like two panes of glass on either side of a void. Is correct. that correct? Correct. So. Uh, so that we'll have to go through, we can actually look through the makeup of the glass for you and tell you, because as you say, it's a gas that is sort of sandwiched between two pieces of the glass yeah. to give the best properties. Oh, mechanical properties yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, fascinating. The way we designed the ship too is to try and design the ship so it looked outwards. Like a, you, To look outwards. Right, right. Because you know, a lot, a lot of ships these days look inwards. Yeah. And we wanted the ship to look outwards because, I mean, where do you get views like we get? Right. And you want, you know, you want to sort of celebrate those views. So what we did, and you'll find this throughout the ship, is the passenger spaces look outwards. Right. So uh, you'll see a lot of use of glass, and as I say, even with the sphere here, this is such well, this, uh, a unique and This is structure. right out of a superhero film. Yeah. This is like, <laughs> this is, I can only imagine what it's going to be like to be at sea with weather happening around the ship and standing protected in this cocoon. Absolutely, with a cup of coffee. Watching right. the world go by. <laughs> I know. I look forward to that day. Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah, yeah, celebrate it.